Hey everyone, Dr. Clark here. I want to tell you about an interesting study came out uh, recently looking at whether you could use TPO antibodies to evaluate the risk of whether a woman with MS would develop something called postpartum thyroiditis. It's a really interesting study for a couple of reasons and it, and it brings a couple of really important points to light. I just want to share them with you. So first, what is postpartum thyroiditis? Well, it is when a woman develops Hashimoto's uh, within one year of pregnancy. And it's already known that postpartum thyroiditis is more common in women that have autoimmune diseases such as uh, systemic lupus or uh, erythematosus, um, you know, other things like that. But no one had ever really done a study looking particularly at MS patients. And to be honest, they probably didn't really even need to do this test because, you know, MS is an autoimmune disorder where you attack myelin. And uh, most autoimmune disorders are essentially the same thing. They just get called different names based on what tissues are being attacked. So here's what I mean. When you have an autoimmune disorder like Hashimoto's or MS or lupus, um, what's happened is you've lost the tolerance for yourself. So normally you're not, your immune system's not supposed to attack your healthy tissue and kill it. But in those conditions, it does. So it really isn't surprising to me that you would find out that it's more common autoimmune disorders. And I can tell you right now, when I read the title of this uh, uh, paper that was presented at a conference, I said, well, guess what they're going to find? They're going to find that, hey, TPO antibodies are more common in, in people with MS uh, postpartum. But the, the nuts and bolts of the study basically are, look, at six months postpartum, they checked TPO antibodies, and it was significantly higher in the MS patients versus their healthy controls. Okay? Now, it is interesting to note that even in their healthy controls, I think it was uh, two out of 45 people, uh, two to three of the healthy women also had elevated TPO antibodies. So it just lets you know that Hashimoto's is incredibly common no matter what you're looking at. So they said, hey, at six months postpartum, definitely TPO antibodies are significantly higher in the MS group. But what they also did is they looked to see if there would be any signs of overt or obvious hypothyroidism. Now when I say signs, I don't mean symptoms about how these women felt. They looked at their blood work. And what they ran was two tests. They ran a TSH and a free T4, which is frankly mind-boggling to me. Um, but it just goes to show that even when you run two tests like that, you're not going to pick up much. And what it basically means is when there were no overt hypothyroidism, it means their TSH was not high and their free T4 was not low. But it doesn't mean that those women did not have low thyroid symptoms. Now, what low, th low thyroid symptoms could they have had? Well, they could have had depression, constipation, uh, hair loss. They could have had dry skin, brain fog, crushing fatigue inability to get restful sleep, high cholesterol. These are all the things they could have had, but just their blood work didn't show it. So for some reason, these researchers come to the conclusion that since these women did not have overt hypothyroidism, um, actually they didn't come to any conclusion, that's just what they said. They didn't have any signs of overt hypothyroidism. But I gotta tell you, if you look at these women a year or two years later, there's a real good chance they will develop overt hypothyroidism. So what are a couple of the, the takeaway messages here? Number one, Autoimmune conditions are essentially all the same problem. The immune system has turned on itself, and they get different names based on what tissue is being attacked. Second thing is, if you have one autoimmune condition, this is important, if you already have one autoimmune condition, it is really easy to develop another one, which is why these women in this study had MS, and what they had later, they had Hashimoto's. Now, it wasn't overt, but they had Hashimoto's antibodies, which means their immune system is targeting their thyroid gland, and I can tell you it's predictive. At some point, they would develop full-blown overt hypothyroidism, and they would probably never have been treated for it, medically or otherwise, because their lab tests were not totally out of whack. The third thing it points out, which I think is even in research settings, um, they're still not really doing what needs to be done, which is they're a slave to these lab tests. You don't treat lab tests. You don't, what you're supposed to take care of is the person. The lab tests help guide you. But in this situation, it's almost, as if they're, it's almost as if they're saying, yeah, they had Hashimoto's antibodies, but they weren't really hypothyroid. Well, we don't know because they didn't ask them about their symptoms. So this is a very interesting study, and it's from Finland, by the way. And it was presented at a recent uh, uh, conference here in America. But I just want you to know that if you've got one autoimmune condition, you need to do something now to try to get your immune system under control. And you've got to find somebody that you can work with that knows how to do that. Because if you don't, it can expand into other tissues so that you don't just have MS attacking your myelin, you've got something attacking your thyroid, and then you could have something attacking your joint cartilage, and then you could have something attacking the lining of your stomach. And, you know, it just snowballs, and it's a very bad situation, so you've got to do something now.